welcome down to a brand new vlog here on Theme Park Insanity and you've guessed it, we're here for the opening day of SICK and three years it's taken to get to this stage but we are finally here. I've never been so excited in my life and we're also here for the press and media event a massive thank you to the park for inviting us down. You guys are absolutely incredible and I'm so, so grateful to you but yeah, without further ado, let's get into it and see exactly what today's opening day here at Flamingo Land Resort brings. So we're just here in front of the sick sign and last week obviously we saw that that had been installed but look at these lovely balloons around the um, posts. We've got all the lovely planters down there which are really, really nice. Uh, it's all currently sort of fenced off so you can't get down. Uh, but obviously we will be going on you know, later on and obviously following that path through through to the station. But it's fair to say that preparations here at the park have gone really well in terms of being able to get everything ready. Now, I'm very excited to experience this. Obviously I've ridden Colossus at Fort Park. So it's kind of seen how that uh, translates to this ride and obviously kind of how that feels and if you take the sensations you have on icon with the hang time and the freedom and everything else it's gonna feel very much like that it really is but yeah as I said before I'm incredibly excited for this I've followed this construction and I'm sure a lot of you guys have since day one when they laid that first piece of track so really excited to see what the inside of the station looks like all the things they've done in there um, the various bits and pieces that have been put in and around the ride um, and just how it's all kind of come together overall. We, you know, we've got the fountain, we've got everything else. That looks really nice. Saw that little last night. And yeah, it's going to be an amazing day. It really is. So come and join us as we go ride sick for the very first time. So we're just having some breakfast. Um, so we've got some lovely sausage and bacon sandwiches, which are really, really nice. But some, I really see that, but yeah. I've eaten half of it. I don't think they do, but... <laughs> so, I mean, it was a full sandwich, but yeah. Um, got some orange juice, there is tea and coffee as well. Uh, there's a lot of people here, it's quite busy. Goes right, right, right down there. But yeah, absolutely fantastic so far. Uh, feeling very, very hosted. It's, it's really nice that the park are doing something like this. It's not really something they've ever done before. Um, and ordinarily, you know, normally obviously they have the ride open, there's a certain amount of people that might get invited, but obviously it's nothing ever like this. So for them to host an actual press event and invite us all down is absolutely incredible, it really is. Uh, so I think we're just waiting now for a few people to kind of do bits and pieces, to kind of get set up behind us there. Um, and then obviously then hopefully at some point we'll be obviously getting on the ride, experiencing that and doing all of that as well. So yeah, it's going to be a really, really good day. Tracy Susan 
seven weeks we've worked together. And um, I'm just going to steal a Rupert Murdoch story. We made love like porcupines very carefully. <laughs> um, so I finally would like to welcome you all. My mother has uh, made up for Bournemouth the first time in three years. She made Right, so we've had our presentation from Gordon. We're literally now heading towards the ride to experience sick for the very first time. And this is a very, very special moment. Um, I, I almost feel kind of emotional in the way because obviously I've followed this now, as you've known, and I've said it before in the vlog, but I've followed it for about three years. Just look at how, how fantastic that looks. All this fog and this mist. Wow. Goodness me, I can barely see anything. <laughs> But it's lovely, they've got lovely planters there. Um, nice wide path, obviously you've got the <coughs> nets up over where the inversions are. So I'm just taking it all in, this is incredible. It really is. You excited, Rachel? Yeah, roller coaster, Rachel? <laughs> Can't wait, it's gonna be awesome this. It really is. Oh, 
songs of sin. Make some noise! Lads out to do the official cutting, cutting of the ribbon, guys. Do you want to join us? I'm going to get you all to do a, a sort of fake countdown to get us all in the mood. So we'll count from ten. They won't cut it yet. This is a rehearsal, a rehearsal countdown from ten. Here we go. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four. Three, two, one. Welcome to Sick. There you are. It is time to come on the run. Get your way through. You do get a very sick though, because of all the loops. It's not a rounded sick bag, it's just a, a sick bag because you might get a little crazy. Calvin. <laughs> Interesting. So we've got a barrier here to let you through. That's uh, that's an interesting move. It does make you wonder. I don't know whether they're going to charge to ride it, perhaps. Hopefully not. But yeah, Gordon has just literally opened the ride along with the guys from Six Silk. Absolutely incredible. We're now walking through the queue line, making our way to the ride. First ever ride on Sick. This is going to be, as they say, Sick. It really is. So excited for this. I genuinely am. Let me spin you around. Let's have a chat. Here we go, finally, after three years of waiting, this is going to be incredible. Can't actually believe that we're here doing this. We're now making our way through, so just to give you guys a bit of, uh, bit of an idea, it's a bit of backwards and forwards queue line, uh, making our way, and it's very sort of uh, including. So there's actually, you see that in the background, there's a single riders queue, there's a standard entry queue, there's a VIP queue, there's four different queues by the looks of that there, including the exit. and. Uh, making our way down now to the entrance to the ride. Now, confirmed it is a height restriction of four, four, four foot seven inches, also known as 1.4. So for those of you that are wondering, obviously we can now confirm that is the case. And we did see that. And, and you might get some lovely views here. I'm trying to obviously take it all in as we walk down. You've got velocity right above you there. Um, which again is a really nice touch. So obviously when you're queuing up for the ride, you're gonna be able to take all of that in. You can also see underneath the ride as well. So. I'll spin you around and you can have a look. Here we go, so you can see underneath the ride there, you're gonna get a lovely view as it comes down that first drop and into that loop there. Beautiful. And straight in through the entry here, right next to the lift hill. Beautiful building. Uh, it's nice to see all the finals there on the building as well. I think we're gonna be on the first ride by the looks of this. So this is incredible, wow. Wow. Oh my goodness. Oh, this is insane. <laughs> Wow! Goodness me, this is genuinely, it feels like a nightclub. Oh my goodness. So this is completely different to anything Flamingo Land have ever done before. Oh my God. Absolutely beautiful. All those flags up there. You've got branding on the wall, the ops cabin up there, the screens. Yeah, stunning. Really stunning. Right, let's get on the ride. I'll talk to you afterwards. Right, let's talk about this. Oh my God. That ride is by far, and it takes a lot of beating. I think it's a new, a new UK number one. I ain't just saying that. I'm not picking it up to be something it's not. That was incredible. It really was. Now let's break it down a little bit. I'm, I've still got the adrenaline pumping and uh, <laughs> just the feeling of it. It's just absolutely insane, but the hang time through the inversions, the speed, the height, it's everything you want to be, everything that you want it to be. And then it takes the bar and it goes boom. And it is genuinely 
the best ride at Flamingo Land, hands down. That that is not even a hard statement to make. Genuinely, that is their new top ride here. It's a perfect headline ride for the park. It's a perfect headline ride for the UK. And it absolutely blows Colossus. If anybody's wondering out the wall, it genuinely does. I've never experienced anything like that ever. Now, in terms of how smooth it is, it's exactly as smooth as you would expect it to be. Um, so it looks just as smooth as it rides. The speed is a lot faster on the ride. You really feel the elements quick. You go up around that loop. The bottom of the drop is very, very intense indeed. Um, and then you literally straight up into the first inversion, down the near misses, fog. As you go down into the Cobra Roll, up and around and down again, you're blinded, you're up at the top of the Cobra Roll, roll Cobra Roll. <laughs> uh, you drop down out of the Cobra Roll, back into the fog again, straight into those iconic uh, corkscrews, which I think are around about the same sort of place that the originals used to be, and then you're literally just into those, those barrel rolls, one after the other, or heartline rolls. Yeah, hands down the best ride at the park by a long, long shot. Now I'm going to go a bit around, I'm going to have another ride, try and get it in a different location. But yeah, overall, new top number one here in the UK. Not even a hard statement to make at all. Right, let's try and get back round and have another go. Okay, I've had a third from front row and I've had a back row. This ride is a back row ride. No two ways about it. I'm gonna grab one of these. Thank you very much. Nice little bit of uh, champagne to celebrate. <laughs> it's definitely a back row ride. There is no two ways about it. Let me just go out here where we can actually have a chat um, or stand over here. Now, with the front, you obviously you're exposed and you get the view. With the rear of it, you get the drag of the train. And the drag of the train over the first drop and through the rest of the elements is very, very quick. And just, yeah. Absolutely fantastic, it really is. I'm speechless, I genuinely, I never expected it to be as good as it is. You know when you look at something, you kind of think, that looks good, but you get on it and, yeah, it doesn't do it justice, it really doesn't. It's insane. Here we go again. Let's see you going up. member how you doing Sam? All right? oh, very well thank you how are you? Very very good. So what do you reckon what's your verdict? Sick. No very good. Um, ran really fast very smooth and just having a lap bar makes all the difference. It really does doesn't it? it yeah just, for obviously sure. it's plus like the over the shoulder restraints so it's just it definitely adds something yeah. else to it doesn't it? A lot of like you dangle so much the hang time oh it's wicked so good. It really really is. Yeah, so good. Oh, I don't know. I've just done two goes on it. You did two? Yeah. Can you not manage might three? do. Might do. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to try three. I'm going to try and get on it. We might as well. We've obviously got access to the ride, you know, exclusively to ride it. So at the end of the day, we might as well enjoy it. Let's go see if we can get round three. Okay, so two goes, yeah. <laughs> Definitely enough with two, trust me. It's so intense, it really is. But yeah, a top UK coaster, hands down. No competition, as I said before. Number one for me personally. By the shadow of a long shot, and it is by far the definite best ride here at the park as well. Um, so it's, uh, it's good to kind of see Flamingo Land kind of adding something like this into the equation and actually being able to bring a ride of this caliber to the resort. So we've done our ride on sick, we're about to go get on velocity. Excited? Yes, can't yeah. wait. It's going to be fun. You've not been on this before, have you? I'm, I'm more excited for Hero. Yeah, we'll, be doing, we'll definitely be doing that. Yeah, quite like an extra coaster. <laughs> yeah, I've heard good things about it. Mm. <laughs> we'll see. 
Right, yeah, so we're going to go and jump on Velocity. It's only got about a 10 or 15 minute queue line, I think, so it's not too bad. Um, but obviously now that we've had our ride, know, sick, yeah. and the public are all enjoying themselves on it, so I thought we'd leave them to do that. Uh, we are going to be going back for some food shortly, so uh, we'll go get a ride on Velocity, and then we'll do that. Yeah, sounds like a plan. Another good ride on uh, Velocity, always a fun ride. Uh, Rachel, what do you think? Loved it. My eyes just constantly watering, all through my hair. <laughs> <laughs> it's all over. I'm having a bad hair day. <laughs> <laughs> Worth it though. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, wow. Really good fun, wasn't it? Amazing, yeah. I've enjoyed that. Yeah, yeah no, it's, it's always a good ride, is Velocity. And uh, <laughs> good to get back on, obviously, got, you know, Rachel's first reaction as well. So, yeah, right. let's see where we head next. Okay, right. So, there's a few people here that haven't been on Hero before. There's a person that has been on here and doesn't like it just as much as me. So at least I'm not the only person. But we're going to go and give it a try. Rachel's first ride. Yes, I can't wait. Yep. It's going to be amazing. Intriguing. And we've also got Mr. Costello and uh, Marcus up front as well. who will also be riding it for the first time. So, yeah, Sam's first time. It is. Yep. So let's see what the King of Punch Arms himself makes of it. That's going to be interesting. But yeah, let's head over to it, get a bit of our fried footage, and let's break our backs. Only kidding. Let's have a laugh. Right, okay, what happened? I drooled. You drooled. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Brilliant. I was like, getting off me and it's still going as you're climbing down. I had to climb on the top step because I'm not very tall. Like, what is going yeah, on? Yeah, yeah. We ended in the wrong carriage as well, oh, didn't, well the wrong thing, yeah. didn't we? But I've got to say, I loved it. Give that 9 out of 10. <laughs> Fantastic. Pretty good. Okay. Sam, Marcus, what do you reckon? Hello. Uh, what, that? <laughs> that <laughs> thing, that horrible thing right what there. I need to tell you. <laughs> How terrible that is. <laughs> yeah. I'm glad it doesn't matter what word I choose, it just won't sum it up. I'm glad we're on the same page in all fairness, because I thought, you know, maybe it's just me, but... But the main question is, why hmm. was it me? That is a very good question indeed, Marcus. And for that one, I have no answer. At all. No, it should be for people <laughs> that, like me. That is a torture device, and it should be in the queue for saw. It wouldn't be out of place, in the, wouldn't be out of place in the medieval <laughs> times, would it? <laughs> Yeah. No. No. You have to hold your whole body in. You quite literally do, yeah, though, especially through mad. the inversions. He's mad. Yeah, I don't, everyone could even scream for miles. <laughs> nah, but we've done it, and yeah. that's the main thing. So I think we'll start heading in that direction now and getting a couple of those lovely little machines over there. Let's go. Oh, hey, hey you all right? How's it going? Not okay. too bad, yourself? Yeah, not too bad, thanks. What's your verdict on that monstrosity behind you? Oh, I hate it so much. My shoulders are <laughs> in pain. Everything hurts. Like, that's not an exaggeration. It's no. genuinely the worst coast I've ever been on. Just, hate it. Just, just no need for it whatsoever. No. no. Get it gone. Yep. There we go. I'm glad. The majority seems to be that everybody dislikes it. So, there you go. Honest opinions through and through. Right. We're going to go head over to Mumbo Jumbo. We've done Hero. We've got that monstrosity out of the way. Um, so we'll get on Mumbo Jumbo and then we're going to get on Kumali as well. But it's turned to a fantastic day here so far. The sun has come out now. It's beautiful. It's sunny. It's about how it usually is. And uh, it's not that busy. Touch wood, it ain't that bad. So yeah, let's go, let's go get on another ride. Okay, so over the last sort of hour or two, we've had rides on pretty much every major coaster here. And we had a really good time. The queues haven't really been that long, but we do obviously have a uh, fast track with these, which is amazing. And again, massive thanks to the park for inviting us down. Having an amazing day. So what we're gonna do now is I'll go and head over to Sick, hopefully get a third ride on it. And uh, yeah, hopefully get in a different position as well. It's been an amazing day so far, it really has. And uh, yeah. I'm going to start obviously trying to sort of like get on various other things now and uh, sort of wrap the day up but yeah it's been amazing it really has. Um, Sick is definitely the standout ride at this part now obviously I've had a chance to ride all the other rides all the major thrill rides and Sick is top tier in my opinion personally it's, it's the best they've got so let's go get another ride on it see what that's like and I'll chat to you when I come off. So Kelly, what's the lift door sound like? It sounds like someone throwing a roasting pan down a bowling alley. 
very loud. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> I've never arrived on six out of mix free today and I thought I'd just show you guys a bit of a look at what we have in terms of merchandise so as you can see here we've got jumpers which have the six silk logo on the front there and then also on the back you've actually got the ride logo itself which is quite nice it's you don't really sort of see ride specific merchandise at Flamingo Land Resort in terms of prices 27 there for your jumpers again the hoodies are the same they're 32 so not too badly priced in all fairness and again the logo there on the back as well and we've got various different styles available so you've got blue black a light grey and also black there as well you've also got the six silk hats up there which are quite nice um, sort of black with like a gold emboss on it very very nice there um, and again they're just sort of modeling those up there that's actually on the back that's not the front there so don't get obviously confused thinking it's on the front um, and those are those there, but the shop itself is a quite a decent size. Obviously, you've got drinks if you want drinks. We've got more caps over here, more six silk caps in various different styles. So you've got six silk sport, six silk, more traditional logo there. And again, there as well. Hi, guys. <laughs> um, and then you've got more styles up here, more t shirts again, very similar. You've got six silk logo there on the front and the actual sick ride logo on the back there and again uh, 17 pounds for the t-shirts there actually so that's not too bad different styles are available so obviously you've got different choices we've also got some for the more sort of junior ones there some more sort of sportswear uh, for the younger ones and again you've got sick silk on the front there i don't know if the ride logo is on the back no it's, it's just playing with the kids ones there but more gym wear basically it's, it's kind of more like a uh, sort of like traditional everyday clothing if you will We've then got some various different styles over here, some more sort of sporty styles, and again, these are just box standard normal six silk uh, sport wear. But nice to see that obviously, you know, they've got this here. It's, it's showing off that collaboration with the brand that they've actually choose, you know, chosen to actually do that with. The one thing which is very strange is this here. Let's wait for these guys to go past. So at the side of the shop, they've got hairdressers or barbers which is uh, it's quite a different thing for a roller coaster, really. But again, you know, the brand obviously showcases street fashion and having a good haircut is obviously part of that. So it does kind of fit in a way. Again, we've got more gym wear here, more younger sort of junior stuff here as well. Different styles of clothing and sort of crop tops there. Again, those ones actually do look like they've got the ride logo on the front, I think. Or is it on the back? Oh no, sorry, tell I know it's, it's still on the back. Uh, those, if anybody's interested, are £17 as well. More drinks. But yeah, it's mainly clothing actually in the shop itself. Now, you do also have these key magnets here. Oh, sorry, magnets. They've got magnets. Key rings, which have got logo sick on the front. And then the Flamingo Land logo there on the back. And those are priced. There's not actually a price available on those. I don't think they were too much because I did get a magnet and the key ring earlier on and I think it came in at around £7 so in all fairness that's not too bad. We've also got plenty of like bangles and wrist bracelets here, quite a nice little selection there. More sick clothing, in fact it looks like it's actually on the front there, no it's on the back, it's still on the back. <laughs> More clothing there and then a selection of soft toys with the Flamingo Land logo on as well. So that's quite nice. And obviously for the younger ones, this is perfect. There's loads of choice here. These are actually featured in uh, the other Flamingo Land shops as well, or the other main shop over near the Pirates of Zanzibar show. But again, a nice big selection of soft toys there for the children. Priced in at around about £11.99. See how much this one is here. So that's £14.99. Again, around about your average sort of cost for soft toys here at the park. It's not much different. And then obviously then you can obviously purchase photos of you on the rides as well. Um, which is a nice little touch too and the picture itself is taken in and around where the first corkscrew is in that area so yeah there you go that's just a little bit of a look at what's available in terms of merchandise here oh and also as well before I do go completely forgot we obviously have these sick logo magnets 
which is actually in the shape of six. That's, that's quite clever. Very good. There we go. Can you see it? And also logos for the park as well. Anyway, there we go. That's what we've got in terms of merchandise here at the Sick Shop. Okay, so we just had another ride on Sick. Uh, third ride of the day, absolutely cracking. Uh, round about mid-train this time, so we've had a, a ride near the front, we've had a ride near the back, and then we've had a ride kind of in mid-train as well. Regardless of where you sit, it's a fantastic experience. It's still very, very smooth. It's still very, very forceful. And by God, is it quick. It is ridiculously quick. But for me personally, it is definitely a back row coaster without a shadow of a doubt. And just, it's great to finally get on it, as I say, you know, and actually be able to experience it. We're now going to have a ride on Velocity, or another re ride, should I say. Um, it starts to wrap up the day here at Flamingo Land Resort. Okay, another fun ride down Velocity. Second ride of the day. Uh, yeah, it's getting a bit shaky, to be honest with you. Feels a little bit on the rougher side as it kind of gets on during the day. Um, could just be the age of the ride, in all fairness. But yeah, it's still fun to ride. It's still got that acceleration. Again, it's not feeling quite as forceful as it did earlier in the season again. Uh, so it does feel like it's lost that little bit of power. But we're going to go and get a final ride on sick, wrap up our day on that. Um, and yeah, we'll sort of have a bit of chat about kind of the overall day and obviously kind of how that's been then as well. So let's go get a final ride on sick. Okay, let's wrap this up. It's been an absolutely amazing day. Uh, SICK is the perfect addition, the perfect new addition to the park. It's been well worth the three years waiting that it has. Um, I'd like to give a massive thank you to Flamingo Land for inviting me down here today and giving me the opportunity to experience not only rides on it before the public and everything else, uh, but also for hosting us and the hospitality they've shown us. You guys have been absolutely incredible. So thank you guys so, so much. It genuinely means the world. And it has certainly been a day to remember as well. It really has. Um, we've got on lots of rides. Obviously, we met a lot of great people as well. Big shout to everybody that's seen us today and also to anybody that has come up and spoken to me. You guys are amazing as well. Thank you so much. It was lovely to meet you all. So again, yeah, fantastic day overall. But as ever, if you have enjoyed what we've been doing, hit that subscribe button. Turn on those notifications and again, if you have enjoyed the video, leave me a like and let me know. It really does genuinely mean the world. And I will be here then very, very soon indeed for another return visit, as well as many other parks here in the UK as well. We have so much coming up over the next couple of months. My circumstances have changed, which gives me a lot more freedom. So you've got a lot to look forward to, I can guarantee you that. But for now guys, I'm Joe, this is Theme Park Insanity, and I will see you very soon indeed. Take care, bye bye.